Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new here and today I'm going to be showing you three easy dinners that I made throughout the week. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to slice up my eggplant and I will do this a few hours before dinner because you do have to let the eggplant sit with salt between some paper towels. This helps draw out a lot of the moisture so your eggplant isn't spongy tasting. So what I did was I placed a paper towel on a cookie sheet and then I layered my eggplant and then I sprinkled it with salt and then I added another paper towel and then I added a cutting board for weight and I just set that on top and I let it sit for a couple hours. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I make eggplant parm. You will need flour, eggs, and breadcrumbs. And these are my sliced eggplant. They've been sitting here for a couple hours. This is what they look like. And I will show you how I cook them. Okay, so after I brown the eggplant on both sides, I will place them on a cookie sheet and then I will add a little bit of Parmesan and mozzarella cheese on top and then I will place them in the oven for about 15 minutes. So today I'm making tacos for dinner and right here I have some ground turkey and I am just browning it up and then I will add a little bit of salsa. Okay, so while the meat is browning, I am going to chop up some cilantro and some lettuce. super easy and I didn't shred any cheese I got this from the store already in the bag and um, here's the lettuce that I cut up and some cilantro sour cream some taco sauce and shells 
And this right here, because my children are acting a fool up in this house. Hello. So yeah, super easy and super good. So now I am going to eat. And for the last meal that I'm going to make, I am going to make grilled chicken. And for this grilled chicken, I like to use the Grillmates Zesty Herb. It's my favorite. And you just mix it with some water and three tablespoons of oil and three tablespoons of white vinegar. So to go along with that, I'm going to be making some pesto pasta and I am making my own pesto and I picked up this basil. It was in the produce section of the store. I picked up some pumpkin seeds and um, I'm gonna be using the pumpkin seeds instead of the pine nuts because usually you make it with pine nuts. But um, I'm gonna be using pumpkin seeds. So I mixed pumpkin seeds, basil, Parmesan cheese, salt and pepper. I blended that up just enough and then I slowly added some olive oil. And I will also make some asparagus with lemon and pepper. And I'm going to put that in the oven and I will show you how I do that. Thank you so much for watching my video everyone i hope you all enjoyed it if you did please leave me a thumbs up and if you are not yet subscribed to my channel i would love to have you and i hope you all have a wonderful day bye